Hey, good morning. So today we are going to be taking a small break from the kitchen um, and we need to set up a new compost bin, move that over. Um, fall leaves are starting to go all over the place in the yard. So we want to make sure that we have a place for them to go. And we actually need to winterize the coop because temperatures are starting to drop quite quickly. So anyway, thanks for joining. Chick chicks. <laughs> it's pretty chilly out this morning. All right, so we're basically gonna make another bin right here. So, we are going to move everything in this pile over to this new pile and then clean out the coop um, and lay down new bedding for water.
So it's pretty cool out this morning. The real feel temperature is like 28 degrees. Uh, yeah, pretty cold. Clean out the coop. Keeping guard gunner. <laughs> Yep. Do I need this mask? Yep. So we got some thick plastic to go ahead and line the inside of the coop with to kind of insulate it where the fence posts are, like over here, over <laughs> here on the side, so the draft doesn't get in when it gets below like freezing temperatures. Um, so we've got some one mil plastic. We're gonna double it up. I mean, I think it'll be thick enough. As long as it keeps the draft out, then it's okay. I'm just gonna staple it on to the panel and that's that. All right, we'll do the back corners first. Ugh. Is it toasty in there? Um, I mean, it's warmer in here than it is out there. Yeah. But it, it ain't warm. Help 
I hate this table gun. Hate it. Okay, bring it a little closer. Y'all like my crazy leggings? I know when my mother-in-law <laughs> sees this video, she's gonna be like, really? <laughs> This is hard to staple up because the, all this chicken wire is right here, so it's really thick and it's hard to get the staple to go through. Um, you better go back on down that ramp. The side door is open, so if the chickens come in here, they can easily escape. But I think they want to know what I'm doing in their home. where the fence is. You can see little gaps there to keep the draft out. Now we still have ventilation up here which is above where they roost at. You want that ventilation to stay open. It keeps the ammonia fumes out of here um, and it helps against um, frostbite and everything. And Josh is wiring electrical cord in here. What are you doing? Yeah, so remember I said if time permits, we'd have solar out here and all that. Well, time didn't permit. So we're running electric out here from uh, from the shed. These thing chickens keep coming up the ramp. <laughs> They're curious. They want to know why I'm in their home. Exactly. So yeah, we'll run it. What are you doing? Okay. Back to work. Always coming. What? The chicken. You better go on. When she get in here, you better make sure she don't escape if she gets in here. <laughs> Hi, Goldie. Hi, Goldie girl. That's not her name. I don't, none of them have names except Hope and Big Mama, which is that big one right over there. If y'all can see her. Hi. What is this thing? You're wondering why I'm in your home, ain't you? Here comes a red one now. She wants to make her debut. We need a chicken camera. Yeah. I can set one up. It's just time I know. You got some fluffy cheeks. She did not like that. Alright. Alright. Um, there's a lot of debate out there whether or not to heat your coop during the winter. Um, so we decided that we we're going to do it intermittently. 
Uh, what I mean by that is we have a temperature sensor in here, and although I didn't write, get a chance to write the program and um, automatically do it, maybe maybe later on this winter after the kitchen's done, I'll get a chance to do that. We'll see, but this will suffice for now. Uh, but basically, we're going to have a mechanical timer set up, and it will run um, intermittently throughout the day, whatever we, you know, depending on how the weather's going to be. And of course, alternatively, if we know that it's going to get, you know, negative 50, <laughs> negative 50, um, which actually we did see last year with the wind chill, but it was like negative 30, just uh, air temperature, which yeah. is insane. Um, then of course we will have the heat lamp on for a few hours, drop the temperature um, to make sure that they don't get frostbite on their combs or their feet and they don't freeze to death. Uh, but I do want to point out a couple of um, very important things to consider uh, if you do go down the route of heating your coop for the winter. One is never rely on the factory clamp. Never rely on that. Um, these things can easily drop, hit the uh, hit the bedding, catch fire in a heartbeat. So what I've done is I actually used some wire and I wired it up around uh, this rafter to a metal part that is uh, latched onto the actual heat lamp itself. Second is do not use a plastic socket. Um, spend the extra few bucks, get the ceramic socket, uh, or, you know, go to your farm and fleet store. Um, they typically only sell ceramic socket uh, clamp lights. Uh, because if you get a plastic one, it can melt. And it will melt if it gets too hot and it stays on too long. Uh, the third thing is do not use a regular heat lamp. Um, those get way too hot. If they get wet, they explode. Uh, when snow falls, it creates, uh, you know, wet atmosphere, obviously. So we do not want <laughs> we do not want the light to get moisture on it, explode, catch fire. So what we did is we actually found a waterproof reptile ceramic. so well um, ceramic lined bowl. Uh, it does not emit light. It is specifically designed only for heat. Infrared, red infrared. Right? Yes. Yeah. So that is another uh, thing to consider. And. Um, of course, just try and keep it waterproof. Uh, so yeah, that, that's about it. Alright, now I need the bedding. So another thing to help with the heat is extra bedding. So we're going to put a very thick layer that's going to create a, a layer of insulation on the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's also another thing is you do not want to put actual home insulation in this coop. Then we'll peck at it. Can I use a knife, please? 